S sir, what? No, uh, why is this my problem again? No, no, just listen, breathe, breathe, all right? I do not have time to be speaking with you while you're raising your voice like that. I don't have that kind of time. So let's get this brief and done because I've got things to do, all right? I'm sure you also do. So you're not gonna call me again without having it done, yeah? And I am tired of the excuses. I don't know why you keep running to me when things go wrong. That's your job. All right? That's your job. And next time something like this happens, you know I'm going to call. And that's not me. Are we clear? Are we clear? Ma'am, behind it. Thank you. There we go. So, what else? Okay. I don't have this kind of time and what I'm gonna do now I'll just drop this call is that okay with you can I drop this call you know you're gonna hire somebody and then they do this to you this is why you gotta just do things for yourself I just can't I hope you guys are amazing. Welcome back to my channel. And we are back yet again with another video for you, which will be quite interesting to actually shoot. But welcome to anybody that is joining us for the first time. Welcome to the family. Welcome home. Welcome to a safe space, our space, your space, right? A space where we can talk about whatever it is that we want to talk about, but still keep it respectful. May you not tire to just uh, uh, do the right thing, you know. Subscribe, like, or comment. I mean, what am I counting, really? <laughs> and to everybody that's been chilling and um, supporting me, I appreciate you guys so, so much. I've been seeing the comments, all oh, the sharing, oh, the support. I can never tire, all right? Like, that's, that's... I see you guys, and I appreciate you guys for seeing me. Now, today, we're speaking about a part of my journey. I'm not gonna be too long today and I will also be giving this in different parts and it's all we have for today as well. Part of my journey going to Joburg, leaving Cape Town and then next time we'll continue and just build and build and build. So first things first. Right now I'm doing my third year, right, in film. And I was in Job for two years, 2018 and 2019, yeah. And I was in my second year, 2017, when the call came. Okay. I've known that I want to do acting since high school and all of that. And maybe saw myself going to Joburg, but like maybe not that way. Because 2017, I was done. I was ready to just move to Joburg, leave school, and say, oh, I'll come back and see y'all later and stuff. I don't know what happened, but I think this was just my family and everybody that thought, why is she leaving school? And I changed my mind and I was back. Mm, okay, cool. Let's do the second year thing because 2016, the first year was a bit much. And yeah. By myself in the pits. Now, to cut the story low key short, I had a gig 2017, early 2017, with a series called It's Easy. Just like a cameo situation, you know, like um, schoolgirl called in a lid. I'll actually share a bit of, yeah, someone sent me recently, Kito, sent me snippets of her work. Well, Lily, too, that is. And I was like, oh my god, no, no, you know. 
I need to pull up, I need to bring my A game, I need to be present all the time. I need to prove myself, I need to prove that he made the right decision because out of a board of 12 people, listen, wait for this. Out of a board of 12 people, he was the only person that said yes. Let's all have our seats for that. Yes. I was like, what? We got it, mama. And I had to, you know? Oh my God, my nails. I had to. I had to pull up. I had to bring my A-game. I had to do everything I had. Everything I had to do to make sure that I pull through for real. But got the gig yo i got the gig now the issue is i need to make sure that everything in mind is sorted because jan early jan i need to be there i need to be doing flip actually i came back from jover to cape town mid december right after having sorted everything out got the gig came back and i'm like okay i want to go to the eastern cape and my brothers were coming out of initiation school, so I had to be there. Cool. Now I have to leave here, go to Eastern Cape. So it's like, okay, Jobra, Cape Town, Eastern Cape instantly. Get to Eastern Cape. I think I stayed at my mom's for like a good, what? A good four days? Four days, yeah. And then fourth day, I had to go because it was going to be the ceremony. Literally, just as I'm leaving my mom's, I get a message saying you need to be in Joburg for wardrobe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I was like, how is this happening right now? Yo! Yeah. So I buy, obviously, because I do have to go home um, to my brother's at my dad's I, I continue I go and when I get there I tell them this this is what's happening um, and I can't tell my brothers yet because they're gonna lose their minds having seen them in so many years and then bam you get here and you leave it sure but it has to happen the dream the goal you know everything I finish I think a, t a day a day later day later got the things and the, that was the day of the ceremony. I had to leave, I had to cut it short. Took, took a taxi from Eastern Cape to Joburg to do the whole thing. And I'll tell you again, that kind, kind man, they, they accommodated me at his home uh, with his gran because my aunts are both in Eastern Cape because ceremony, I left them there. So that happened, it was amazing, it was great. I have to go to Cape Town, leave Joburg, come to Cape Town, and pack, because I'm moving now. Lit, everything happened like that. It was the craziest time of my life. When I was living in Joburg, I traveled a lot, like between the two cities, but that time, yo, I was like, what is going on? It's buses, it's taxis, it's flights, like, yo, team in game. <laughs> so that happened, left, moved to Joburg, and the journey started. Um, I found a place next door to where I was accommodated. I found a nice room because they had like a three bedroom house, and I stayed in one of the bedrooms. And rent is cheap. Like, work is like, what, 15, 20 minutes away? Can just take a taxi like life is good basically convenient and work started man i had short hair and they chopped the sides and just revamped a whole new makeup look like a whole makeover of some sort with my hair something like that i'd never do but it happened and the journey started so with that being said I'd like to just talk about timing, yeah? When things are yours, and when things are ordained for you, when things have been written, they will be, they'll come to pass. I remember being asked a 
question on a on a, on a, an interview that I had 2017, yeah, with an online man called Nguni Studios. The question was, what's your dream role? And my answer was, it hasn't been written yet. And it's something that will only be for me and only I can play. Now, we could have a whole conversation of there would be another actress or there could be another actress that would have played Tando. Great. But I played Tando. I played Tando. You know what I mean? So when divine appointments happen, nothing can stop them. So I want you to know that whatever journey it is that you're following, whatever journey it is you're following and that is for you and that is aligned with your purpose or what it is that you need to do on this earth, don't stress. Put in the work. Do what you need to do. Put yourself out there. The opportunities will present themselves and what will be for you will be for you or what is for you will be for you. So always remember that. Never feel like you're out of time. Never feel like you can't. You can always get it. You will. You If it's yours, it's yours, mama. Papa. Bruv. You know? It's yours. So never stop believing and never stop pushing and never think about giving up. Because just when you're about to, it comes. It comes. So some things are there to test our faith. Some things are there to... to to help us learn and get better and just build patience because the industry we're in isn't for the faint-hearted and if you're not patient too bad because not everything will go a certain way and understanding that the journey is unique it's your journey it's not gonna be like mine my journey is not gonna be like yours I can tell you my whole story, my whole life story, and somebody can do the same. Somebody else can do it, but it's not your journey. And I want to leave us or leave today or this week with a conversation I had with a friend of mine last year when I was heated up, wanting to just enlighten people about the industry more and just it's not as easy as it looks. It's not glitz and glam. It's not, it's it's little from, like it's little of the glitz and glam. The glitz and glam is like 10% of it. 90% is tears, it's hunger, it's drive, it's hard work, it's sleepless nights, everything and above, you know? And that 10% there makes it all worth it, I guess. But, I wanted to sort of kind of have a space to create a space where artists can pull up and tell their stories and just highlight how much of it isn't a child's play. And 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 this guy responded and said, Why do you want to measure people or cap people's ways of doing things? If they think it's easy, it's okay. They'll see for themselves that it's not easy. The fact that you guys are making it look easy, great. You know what I mean? They must believe that so that they can come through and put in all they have. Don't limit people's thinking. Don't limit people's doings. Don't limit their success. Don't benchmark their success by the person that should have on the show's success. So your journey is unique to you. Your success is unique to you. And what it is that defines success should be unique to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, the second part or more parts of this will be coming and you guys let me know what you'd like to know what you'd like to find out please comment like and share and do the right thing please subscribe it is sick and love yelling and it has been amazing chilling with you guys today we're gonna come back soon sooner than you think bye see you in the next video